What's good, y'all? Shaboy Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta talk about this, man. We we gotta talk about how WWE tends to book baby faces like complete morons. The topic of tonight from NXT's uh main event is Trick Williams versus Dominic Mysterio. And Dominic Mysterio with the number games of the Judgment Day's help beating Trick Williams to regain the NXT North American Championship. We got to talk about that because it's, it's caused a lot of back and forth conversation on in, on the internet, on Twitter, and I'm sure on Instagram and other social media platforms. So we got to talk about that. But before we get into that, before we get into how WWE just cannot book a smart baby face to save their life, uh, we also got to talk about how WWE is assembling the Avengers essentially to show up on next week's uh, episode of NXT. Apparently, Oscar uh, is going to be there. John Cena, Cody Rhodes and Paul Heyman. Apparently, uh, John Cena is going to be in the corner of Carmelo Hayes as he faces Braun Breaker again. And now Paul Heyman's going to be in Braun Breaker's corner or giving some advice to Braun Breaker. Oscar's going to be there. This is kind of crazy, but it makes sense because Dynamite is going to be uh, showing on next Tuesday as well. And that's going to be the debut match of Edge as he goes by an AEW adam copeland that's going to be his first debut match i think he's going to get some luchasaurus or whatnot so not only is dynamite on tuesday the same day as nxt they're going to have edge debuting uh his very first match there uh, on that same night too so i know why they did it. It, it 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 we it come on now it's all about ratings we know exactly why they have john cena cody rhodes and uh, paul Heyman and oscar gonna be on the show we we know why they're doing that is to pretty much try to siphon as many views and viewers from aew to nxc and i'm gonna be honest with you i love edge edge is amazing he's not beating john cena and cody rhodes on the show people are gonna tune in just to see them legitimately it's it's not even about the nxt stars anymore it's about the main roster stars coming to the show we know why that's happening so that wasn't a surprise once i found out i was like oh they're just there to boost the ratings which they will and i'm pretty sure they will win the ratings because it's, it's john cena it's cody rhodes it's the big players on nxt next week so that's happening but we got to talk about this we got to talk about trick williams and him being affected by the dumb baby face syndrome. So, early in the segment, early in the show, he, uh, Trick Williams is talking to Ilya. Uh, I, I always mispronounce his name. Ilya Dragunov. I stay mispronouncing his name. You know, they're both respective new champions. He is the NXT champion, Dragunov. Uh, Trick Williams is the North American champion or whatnot, NXT North American champion. Then, uh, you know, they're having their conversation back and forth, showing respect. Melo comes out there or whatnot. They have their little back and forth. Melo's basically letting them know, like, hey, that's cool. I'm glad that you want it, but that's half the battle. You got to learn how to be able to retain it, and you got to really focus in on Dominic or whatnot. And Dra uh, Dragunov kind of backs away from the conversation or whatever, and then that's when Dominic comes out there and pretty much lets it be known he's he's trying to stir the pot as a heel he understands the the i guess you could say the rumors or people you know always saying that trick williams is gonna be forever being mellow shallow uh carmelo hayes shadow and that's exactly what he does there he's stirring the pot like now even though you're a champion or whatnot you're still in carmelo hayes shadow and Melo Hayes is basically saying, you know what, I'm going to help you because I know Judgment Day is going to have the number game or whatnot. So I'm going to I'm gonna be in your corner. I got you pretty much. And Melo, uh, Trick Williams tells Melo, you know what, I'm going to decline your offer. I'm going to do this by myself. It's obviously a part of Dominic Mysterio's plan to, you know, play into the fact that he wants to do it by himself. 
And this is where the dumb baby face syndrome kicks into overdrive. He gets fully infected with it. He was just on Monday Night Raw and he just saw Dominic Mysterio with Rhea Ripley. And he was there at the show when they were talking about they were going to be at NXT to help Dominic. And then he Dominic even tells him before the match, you know, trying to stir up the pot to, you know, get him by himself. He falls for it knowing he's going to be outnumbered. And it was essentially a two-on-one match because you got Rhea out there. Then the rest of the Judgment Day shows up during the match. And what do you expect? He fucking loses because he didn't have the help from Melo. Now, I get it. I understand they're trying to build the tension between Melo and Trick Williams. I get that. But at the end of the day, you can still build that tension without having your baby face be completely moronic. And here's the even the greater problem I have with this. I don't have a problem with Dominic winning in that situation because it was a pretty much Judgment Day versus Trick Williams. He's not going to win. I get that. That's understandable. He's outnumbered. But if that's the case then why have him win at No Mercy? Now, there were reports saying that Ali was supposed to win at No Mercy, which kind of sucks for Ali, because Ali, even though he's not in WWE, he's always had just the worst luck. Apparently, he was supposed to win at that elimination chamber that Kofi Kingston won, but he ended up getting hurt, so he had to miss it, and Kofi Kingston took that spot. And also, I believe there was a time he was supposed to win Money in the Bank, but then they end up giving it to Brock Lesnar, and then he was apparently supposed to win at No Mercy against Dominic, only for him to get fired before it. So if anybody really has it bad, it was Ali. There's been multiple instances he was supposed to win a high profile situation only for him to get injured or for them to switch it up at the very last minute. That kind of sucks. Or for him to get fired. That's tough. So Ali, definitely, uh, that sucks for him. But if he was supposed to win and then you put Trick Williams in that spot, you don't have to have Trick Williams win that match if that's the case. You don't have to have him win it. If you want Dominic to still win, even though he's by himself, just have him cheat like he's always been doing, then you could have did that. But nevertheless, you give that moment to Trick Williams. Beating Dominic is a sign that, okay, there's some problems going on with the Judgment Day. I've always felt when Dominic loses his title, then everything else will start to fall apart. Cool. And that's a good moment for Trick Williams. All right, cool. Three days later, you, you have him lose anyway. So what was the point if you're trying to build another storyline with Melo and Trick Williams having issues and maybe Melo turning on him? You could have did that without having him drop the title. For example, say he does take Melo's help and Melo does help him retain the title. Even you know, I'm not even up the odds, but he has maybe Melo has a weapon to run off Judgment Day or he, he does something to help trick retain and he retains then now you have two branching storylines where now there's really going to be some issues with the bloodline rear ripley's going to feel some type of way with dominate you can really build up to that you can have some issues with damian priest and 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 finn balor you know what i'm saying feeling some type of way they're going back and forth then you have jd trying to move up in the ranks maybe trying to push dominic aside you can have those stories expand even further because dom didn't get the job done and you can still build the feud with trick williams and mellow like hey bro i helped you you know what i'm saying like he you know he says he has his back but ultimately, it can be one of those type of things where maybe Melo tries to hold that over him at some point. Like, I'm the reason why you really still have the title as he starts to feel some type of way. There's things you can do to create that dissension. Like, I did it, you know what I'm saying? Most of the time, I did it by myself and I was outnumbered, but I helped you. You know how that person that says they'll help you and then after they help you, they hold that over you? That could be something you can explore. You can explore that without having Trick Williams lose. So all I'm saying is I get why he lost in the story and confines of the storyline of him being outnumbered, but it still is kind of, it. it I, I'm not a big fan of hot potatoing championships. 
especially since he only had it for three days. I've never liked that. Because now whenever Dom does lose again, it may not have the same effect of when he lost it the first time because he just lost it. So him losing it to somebody else, it's not going to have the same effect. It's not. And once again, the dumb baby face syndrome, I just, I, I, me as a person, I just can't see myself having a match. I know I'm going to be outnumbered and my homie willing to help me and I don't take the help, and I go out there, and I get beat up for it. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, that to me, I, I, just, I can't stand dumb babyface syndrome. And WWE has been doing that for so long, and they've done it again. So, yeah, can things possibly work out? Possibly. Maybe going forward, but I just feel like, him winning the title to only drop it three days later because of dumb baby face syndrome and I want to do it by myself even though I know my opponent is about to have his whole teammate and his whole teammates and some extra people help him win. What am I to do? I'm going to go out there and by myself anyway because I am a I am a dumb baby face and, and I do what's right. You can have a baby face have some type of logic. Like what they're doing with with um with drew he's not truly a baby face he's more like in an in between like a tweener like drew in that situation he would be the type to take everyone out before the match and then have the match you could do something like that if you wanted to really build somebody up but hey man that's just my personal opinion on it it's created an interesting debate on twitter i'm not and you know here to you know this, you know, discredit anyone's opinion. I'm just giving my opinion as well. So comment down below. Let me know. How do y'all feel about Trick Williams losing the NXT North American Championship just three days after he won it to a uh, Judgment Day versus Trick Williams match? Essentially, that's what it was. And him being the smart baby face that he is, not accepting a help. Do you understand you know the the process of what they're trying to do there or are you just as confused as i am do you like the decision of what they did with having him lose the title to only further another storyline or do you feel like um this was a misstep and they could have did a, a win a different route and had him retain the title you know i know some people like dominic as a north american champion and that's fine and i know some people were looking forward to seeing what trick williams could do with the north american championship so it'll be interesting to see y'all opinion so y'all let me know how y'all feel about this are y'all for it or are y'all against the decision to have trick williams lose the championship in three days but i appreciate all the love and support roll 250k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace